What's up, y'all? It's that sports kid here with my 2023 Nebraska Cornhuskers season predictions. You see, we got Matt Rule right here on the thumbnail. It's the first time I haven't had a player on the thumbnail. Let's get into it. We'll talk about him just a little bit. Last year, Nebraska went four and eight. This year, they are projected to go between six and seven wins. I don't know how how that's gonna really happen. They haven't had a winning season since when was that? Oh, 2016. Yikes. A lot of returning players though might help get the job done. Seven on offense and eight on defense. And two Cornhuskers were drafted in in late rounds, but they were drafted. Recruiting has I feel like consistently been pretty good for Nebraska. Somehow somehow just absolutely nothing on the field 31st ranked recruiting class and the 27th ranked transfer class two four star two four stars that will be freshmen um malachi coleman he is a hometown kid from lincoln plays multiple multiple positions 6 4 190 number one player from nebraska probably could be a receiver Maybe DB. I don't know. I haven't watched any of his film. Uh, and we also have Prince Will. Uh, oh my gosh. Uminemen. 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 Um, I spent too much time on that name already. He is from good old Manor, Texas. Plays defensive edge and is a top 40 player from texas top 25 edge rusher and four-star recruit transfer portal pretty big deal three four stars jeff sims and mj sherman were two of those then also eight three stars five of those players will be starters jeff sims will be the starting quarterback transferring in from georgia tech plays plays quarterback I don't, I don't really know if I want a Georgia Tech reject to, uh, to be playing quarterback, but whatever. Get what you get. We also have MJ Sherman plays on the edge. The defensive edge. Transferring in from Georgia. So, uh, I believe there were three guys that transferred in from Georgia. Three from Florida. One from A&M. Uh, lots of SEC talent coming to Nebraska through the transfer portal. Um, I'll just talk about Matt Rule for a minute. Matt Rule will be the new head coach here at Nebraska. Um, he has been the head coach for the Carolina Panthers since 2020. They haven't been good. Um, he's leaving. He's leaving. Got hired coming back to college football. He started coaching. Uh, well, he was head coach at Temple. Temple was was terribly terrible um he coached there for three or four years took temple from nothing to to being pretty decent um then he left and went to baylor took baylor from absolutely nothing to being pretty decent um then he went to the panthers in the nfl um he might be back to do a third total rebuild here for Nebraska, it would be crazy, um, but it would be cool. It would be cool to see Nebraska get uh, get more than six wins, more than five wins for the first time since twenty nineteen, since twenty sixteen. Anyway, maybe you can do it. Here's the schedule on the road at Minnesota. Um, probably a close loss, honestly, in Week One. Um, by the way, schedule difficulty, a solid B minus. They do play some of the better schools in the East, um, Big Ten East. And then they play the typical Big Ten West schedule along with Colorado as an as an out of conference game. Colorado is next on the schedule. Um in in uh, Boulder. I was gonna say Buffalo, but wrong state, wrong city. Boulder, Colorado. Um, this is a pretty heated rivalry, I hear. Um, I think Nebraska should win this one. 
even though it's on the road and Deion Sanders is going to be fighting for a win, uh, I think Nebraska probably can win this one and get their first win of the Matt Rule era. If it if it becomes an era and it's not like a one-off season. I don't know how long his contract is, but I don't know. He sucked in his first two years, in his first year at Temple and his first year at Baylor. He had like two wins at Temple in his first year and one win at Baylor in his first year. But here at Nebraska, a um, lot more returning talent and a pretty good transfer portal um, class, consistently recruiting well, I believe. So maybe more than two wins in his first season here. Next we have NIU, uh, Max School should be a big win, as well as Louisiana Tech. But then we hit Michigan, probably gonna be a big loss against Michigan. Um, sad to say, but Michigan is one of the best schools in the country, honestly. Um, this year they might not be frauds. Yeah, probably gonna be a blowout. Next we have Illinois on the road. Um, Illinois probably fighting for a Big Ten West championship. Going to the Big Ten championship potentially. Um, really a mess in the Big Ten West for a uh, Big Ten championship spot. But Illinois fighting for one. And in Champaign, I don't really see the Cornhuskers getting a win there. Next up we have Northwestern going through some issues. Um, by the time we see it, stuff might sort of mellow down, but, uh, maybe not. Northwestern's coming off a bye week, um, but the game is being played in Lincoln. Pretty good advantage for Nebraska, always in Lincoln. Almost always sold out. Um, yeah. Very committed fans. Very, very committed. Um, Yeah. Nebraska should beat Northwestern. NU is one of the worst teams in the Big Ten. Um, yeah. Next up, we have another one of the worst teams in the Big Ten, Purdue. They're coming off of a bye week as well as Northwestern. Going to put them in the close win category. Um, should be back-to-back -back wins for Nebraska for the first time um, in a while, it feels like. Actually, last season, they beat Indiana and Rutgers back-to-back -back weeks, but whatever. Not the point. Not the point. You get, up, you, get what, you get what I was saying. Next up is MSU. Good old Michigan State on the road. Playing Sparty 5-7 and seven last season. Um, could be better. Probably not much better. I am going to say this would be a toss-up between msu and nebraska probably a good game probably a big 10 network game probably some game i'll end up figuring i'll watch even though two top 10 teams are playing that week because somehow somehow i always end up watching the crema games when the good ones are on three three more games three, three more weeks of football in this nebraska schedule we start out these last three weeks with Maryland, who's actually potentially going to be a legit program in the Big Ten East. This is their season to sort of solidify themselves as a actual decent Big Ten program. Uh, at home, I don't think that Nebraska is going to pull off this victory. Uh, they have Tua's brother, potentially an all Big Ten quarterback. Um, pretty good at players around to his brother as well. Um, Nebraska probably going to struggle at least in that game. Potentially a win, um, but probably a struggle. Two more games and then, and now we have, um, Big Ten West favorite, good old Whiskey, Wisconsin on the road. Two teams with letters as their as their uh, logos. Oh wait, that's pretty much every team in the Big Ten. My bad. Uh, anyway, game is in Madison. Wisconsin is going to be pretty decent. They have a very good run game. Nebraska's run defense. I don't know. I don't. 
I don't know. Another game I could see Nebraska losing. Um, yeah, not great. Finally, on the schedule, we have Iowa, who is going to go again in that close loss category. Um, potentially Big Ten West contenders, along with Wisconsin, Illinois, and maybe, maybe Minnesota. Sorry. Sorry to say, but I don't think this is going to be Nebraska's year. I'm saying 5-7. Five 5-7. and seven. Five and seven. That's pretty good for four and eight, three and nine, three and five, five and seven. They make it an upward trend. I think they'll be all good in the end. This year, I don't think we'll be that year though. NIU La Tech should be wins, along with Colorado, Northwestern, and Purdue for five wins. Then they play uh, Michigan State. I think that one could be close. Um, if they can pull off an a win in that game or any of the close loss games which they probably could if they win any of those then they will immediately have broken my projected record um, I think the ceiling for this team probably eight wins probably eight wins um, pretty pretty strong squad actually um, but I don't know if it'll be their year I'm looking at this defense, and Matt Rule runs a very strange defense, or whoever the defensive coordinator is. Uh, I also heard somewhere that Nebraska is having their sixth offensive coordinator in six years. That's always fun. Um, yeah. Yikes. That's pretty much it for this episode. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this season is this how, how how is this rebuild gonna go for matt rule let me know let me know down in the comments below and until the next one peace